Hi everyone, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick tutorial today to give a more visual answer to how to create a grid in Adobe InDesign. And the other question I'd actually seen was someone had said they weren't entirely sure what the page size was for a personal size page. And I went ahead and left it on the screen so you could see. It's 3.75 approximate inches across by 6.75 inches tall. Now, I actually took millimeters and put it in here. Here. Let me change it. It's 95 millimeters by 171 millimeters. So if I type that in and convert it to inches, that's what you're going to get. So hopefully that answers as far as what the page size is for a personal size. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. And I had left it at three pages. It really doesn't matter. But I did want to show you how to create a grid. The first thing I'm going to do is draw lines. So I'm going to click on my line tool here. I'm going to hold down my shift key and then click and drag all the way down from the top to the bottom. Now you can adjust your margins. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to let go of the mouse first and then the shift key. And that gives me a perfectly straight line. Now, if you wanted to go across, same thing, hold down the shift key. If you want to to be able to create a diagonal line, don't use the shift key. But since we want a grid, straight up and down lines, that's what we're doing. So now I wanna make sure the line is selected. Um, you can see it has little boxes at the end, so it is. Let's go ahead and make the line thicker. Right now it's at zero. Let's put it at one so you can actually see it. So we're going to go under the edit menu item, go to step and repeat. We actually want it to go across horizontally. So we're going to change this to 0.25. Now you can probably do math and figure out if you want it 0.25 inches of spacing in between the lines divided by how much space you have. I usually just kind of eyeball it and then either add or remove as necessary. Now I could go back in and redo it and just add extra lines from here going across, but I'm gonna say I probably want an additional five lines. So I'm just gonna go back up here again. And <laughs> again, this isn't an exact science. I put in 12 and it gave me all the way across. Again, I was just eyeballing it. Let's come back to our line tool, draw another line. And again, I don't know that I've ever claimed to be an expert at InDesign because I fully know that I'm not. I do a lot of trial and error and that's how I get stuff done. Now, if you are creating a grid, you are going to want to zoom in which that is the, for me on a Mac, it's the command and then the plus or equals. So let's zoom in really quick because sometimes when you click off, you notice the lines aren't exactly lined up, which in this case is actually somewhat the case. So we want, it should snap. And usually if you drag down, then it's not that big of a deal because then the corners look good as opposed to where it was before. And you see you have like these little tiny notches. We just want to drag it down to where it lines up and then you have a nice square edge. Okay, so I don't necessarily need to zoom out. Again, I'm clicking this horizontal line, going to step and repeat. We want it to repeat vertically. So because I typed 24 earlier, that didn't work. Let's put, and we'll do 15, see where that gets us. Command and the minus sign will zoom you out. We can see that wasn't quite enough. So let's undo, edit, step and repeat. Let's put in 20. Probably still not quite enough. The other option, again, as I mentioned, is you can select this bottom one and step and repeat however many times you think you need to. So let's say four. And that gives us one too many, so we'll delete the bottom one. And a lot of times, especially if the math doesn't quite work out, this line will be slightly off on the bottom. If you don't want a perfect grid, you can just bump the this line up. Otherwise, you can actually make these lines longer and then it will be an actual perfect square grid. So that's the other option. And if we're going to do that, let's zoom in here really quick. Whoops. I'm going to drag this down to where it needs to be. And that tells me it's 5.612. So I'm going to copy that. Select all these other lines. And paste that here. And now they should all be about the same length. Sometimes what that will do though is lengthen from the middle and not from the ends. So we'll just bump all the lines down. I'm just using selecting and using my arrow key to move the line down one. 
All right, so if we zoom out, you can see now you actually have a grid. So that's how I do the grids. You can select all of the area. You can come up here and adjust the line weight. Usually on mine, depends on which printer I'm using. I have a laser printer that if I put it at 0.25, the lines don't all print. It's a little too faint. Visually on the page, that's what I like. But if I'm printing on that laser printer, then I'm going to use 0.5 points of a width. If I'm printing, I have a Canon Pixma. If I'm printing on that, I will use the 0.25. For whatever reason, the laser printer doesn't seem to put down as much ink, and the Pixma does. So your mileage might vary. You'll probably want to print a couple of test pages and see what works for you. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Please click the subscribe button if you are interested in hearing when new videos come out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.